Unfortunately, abs are made in the kitchen. What I usually eat though, I like lentils over quinoa. I don't know, that's just what he told me. So um, I like crunchy. Some people drink this like straight liquid. I can't, I don't know, I'm both. These taste so good, super affordable. So no excuses. Hey everyone, welcome to Queen Bee Fitness. If you're new, welcome. I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you hit that bell. That way YouTube will notify you every single time I put it on a new video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing a grocery haul with you guys since I just came back from the groceries. And then also some of these I just pulled from my fridge that I already had so that I can really show you guys absolutely everything that I will be eating um, over the next week, week and a half. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Give it a thumbs up. Um, also, if you're expecting something super fancy and extravagant, like this video is not for you, it's a very realistic, a uh, grocery haul of what I typically eat. Unfortunately, abs are made in the kitchen. So if you are not eating right in the kitchen and spend endless amounts of hours in the gym, it still really won't do much for you. So yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoy. Let me get started with, how am I gonna do this? Okay, it's gonna be super casual. I'm just gonna share with you guys everything that um, I have. So. Let's just start with breakfast. So for breakfast, my breakfasts are super, super simple. Um, I usually do eggs. I always get the pasture-raised eggs, um, especially if I didn't have time to go to the farmer's market previously. Like I highly suggest going and get your eggs from the farmer's market. If, or if you have friends that have like a chicken coop or anything like that, um, buy it from there. But if you're short on time and you don't have those contacts or you don't wanna to go to a farmer's market or don't have one near you, I always go to the grocery store and get the pasture-raised eggs. It looks just like this and I love them. They taste way better than like your bulk eggs and your regular white eggs. I also, and you know what? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I don't know why I got this because this is probably my least favorite source of protein, egg whites. I don't know, I like go through phases. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. Definitely not in the mood for it, but since I bought it, I'm sure I'm gonna use it, I don't wanna waste it. Um, but 100% liquid egg whites, I'll just cook it just like I do scrambled eggs. Some people drink this like straight liquid, I just, I can't. Or maybe I can, I, I've honestly like never really tried it to, to drink like that. Yeah, some people drink it just liquid, some people put it in their protein shakes, me, I like to cook it, um, and it's more tolerable with bacon. Speaking of bacon, so these I got from Costco. Um, as you can see, it's almost it's almost out. They're not the most healthy version of bacon because it's you know the fully cooked bacon already. But these taste so good. Um, I usually buy the bacon that you cook on stovetop, but. I don't know, sometimes these are just way more convenient and you just pop them in the microwave and you're done. So um, yeah, and I really, really like the taste of these. I usually like swap them out. So this is almost done. And so my next grocery run, I'll probably get the raw bacon that you just cook on the stove top. They're both really good, but this week it's this one. Sometimes for breakfast, I will pair my eggs and bacon with some fruit. Um, you guys, quick note, if there's any fruit that you want to buy organic, it's strawberries. I remember my natural doctor or my son's natural doctor um, mentioned that you really want to get organic strawberries, not the regular kind, because they're filled with like a lot, a lot, a lot of pesticides, like more than other fruits usually are. So I don't know. That's just what he told me. So ever since I've been buying organic strawberries and organic blueberries. I love these for breakfast. Sometimes I'll just take a handful before my workout in the morning or I'll just snack on them throughout the day. Let me talk about my protein sources. So usually I have two to three protein sources to last me throughout the week just to change it up. Um, also, if you eat the same protein every single day, um, your body will naturally develop like uh, an allergic reaction to it. Um, that's something also that I learned from a natural doctor. So I like to switch up my proteins. Um, these, let's start, these I actually just got fresh from Sprouts and it's um, eight pieces of baked chicken. It has like drumsticks, thigh, breast. It just has a mixture. Um, this is the herb seasoned and then they also do a barbecue seasoned. And I love these cause it has like no antibiotics or anything like that. So I don't mind getting these like pre-made and pre-cooked. Usually one of my proteins will already be pre-made because I like seriously, I don't like to cook like every single day. 
um, or multiple times a day because I have two kids. So I don't mind, you know, cheating a little bit. My next protein source, I got lean ground lamb. Lamb is really good. Um, kids love lamb. So I got some ground lamb. Next up, ground bison. I love, love, love bison, especially when it comes to like burgers or just like protein bowls. Ground bison's awesome. And last but not least, I got these 100% um, ground beef hamburger patties from Costco. My kids love these, they're so good. When I don't want, when I want something heavier than veggies, um, I will make some green lentils, organic green lentils. These are really good. And then I also swap it out sometimes with the tricolor quinoa, which is also really good. I'm like a huge fan of lentils though. I feel like I like lentils over quinoa. I don't know, what about y'all? Let me know down below. But these are great alternatives for those that you know like white rice and brown rice and like rices and you wanna kind of cut back on those. Get these two, these are really good. What I usually eat though, because I do carb cycle, so most of the week I am pretty low carb. My body just feels a lot better when I operate high protein, high fat, low carb, instead of high protein, high carb, low fat. Um, every body's different, so that's just what I prefer. Um, I get these from Sprouts. Again, they're super convenient. Obviously, I could get the ones fresh in the bag and just like saute it on the stovetop, but for this week, I just, you know, kept it simple. I got the rice cauliflower right here. You just pop it in the uh, microwave for 90 seconds and it makes an awesome side to one of like my proteins. And then I also got riced broccoli. Other healthy snacks that I really like, um, I like crunchy. I don't know, maybe that's probably where my son gets it from. He prefers veggies like raw. Um, and so we love celery in our house. So I love celery. You could pair it and dip it in peanut butter if you want or almond butter, or you could just eat it by itself. It's really good. And I also got some green bell peppers that I like to chop up and eat as a snack as well. I don't know. I love green bell peppers. My son likes red and like the orange or one of them colors. He doesn't really like the green ones. I don't know why, but I prefer the green ones. Oh, I almost forgot. So. I love these. They're classic baby creamers, AKA just little red potatoes. They look like this. And I love these. You could either cook them in the oven or boil them on the stove top. Just season them a little bit and they're so good with your protein, chicken, bison, with any of those really like, I love potatoes. Last but not least, I love soups and like sometimes I'll drink these um, even like in a cup like as teas but they're really soups um it's the brand kettle on fire i've mentioned this brand before i love 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 this brand i've been using their bone broths and their soups for several years now and i haven't tasted anything better i haven't found something that i like better so i i stick with this brand um this is one of my favorite soups it's the kettle on fire keto uh spicy cauliflower bone broth soup so good and if you want to add like meat i'll like shred up some of the chicken and just put it in and eat it for a little bit of extra protein and then also your basic chicken noodle bone broth soup i love 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 this stuff too and again i could just add more chicken or whatever to the soup and just enjoy. Last but not least, snacks. So I'm a big snacker and like I said, I try to snack on like fruits and veggies um, when I can, but also when I get tired of it. These will be my go-to snacks for the week. So first up, I love, I feel like I'm more salty over sweet, although I don't know, I'm both. I like salty and sweet, but um, if I had to choose, it would be salty. The organic popcorn, it's Himalayan pink salt and coconut oil. Oh, you guys, if y'all have a Sprouts near you, get this popcorn. It's so, so good. I like to snack on that when I'm like on the sofa watching TV or movies with my kids and we all like it. Um, and next up, oh, y'all. I get this from my local fries. Um, I'm sure they have it other places, I don't know, but these are the best pretzels I've ever had in my life. They're the Dots Homestyle Pretzels Original Seasoned Pretzel Twist. As you can see, it's almost gone. Literally, this is like our, every time we run out, we re-up. Like, my kids love it, I love it. 
It's so good. And last but certainly not least are these peanut butter pretzels. I love them. They're pretzels filled with peanut butter. And it's great. I usually keep uh, a little Ziploc bag full in my gym bag. So like during my workout, if I'm feeling a little fatigued or before my workout or even a little after my workout, I'll have some of these. I'll have like five to 10 of these and I'll start to feel better. So um, this is mainly what I use these for and I love them. And I think I went through everything, did I? Yeah, I did. Literally eating doesn't have to be so complicated. All this stuff is also super affordable. So no excuses. If you want to get it done, then you totally can get it done. Just takes a little bit of time um, as far as like in the kitchen. But I, like I said, I even showed you some ways to be a little more convenient if you are a busy mom like me or just a busy person in general. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Let me know down below what other videos you guys would like to see on this channel that's fitness, health, and wellness related. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.